What's up everyone, hope you're doing well. This video is just a follow on from the last video I uploaded on uh, redoing the black chin red salamander enclosure. Um, everything has been going well, it's been a couple weeks uh, and I'm going to reintroduce the animals. Uh, everything from the snails, um, as you can see there, that's a narite, and the Amano shrimp that are in there as well now, and the salamanders. And um, I have not seen any cyanobacteria or any algae or anything like that. Uh, it's been pretty humid in there. The moss has been growing. Everything is looking pretty decent. Uh, water is very clear. I did a couple other water changes. Um, a lot of the plants are doing well. Uh, really happy with this. Uh, no leaks, which is a good thing. I um, think this looks really cool right here. This, uh, how the water is coming out. It looks like it's just springing out of the rocks, which I like. Uh, you can see it there actually though where it's really coming out of is that tube um, but a lot of nice water circulation uh, moss is staying nice and <clears throat> damp uh, it's like I said there's good humidity in there so uh, I really think that the moss is going to do well and um, yeah it's 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 been decent it's been a couple weeks since I dosed this with the uh, top life medicine um, <clears throat> for the uh, blue green algae stain remover uh, I did a couple water changes since then as well, um, but the moss is looking really good. The sphagnum moss, the other pincushion mosses, um, fern moss, things like that. All the different types of mosses. There's also some whipwort, uh, but everything seems to be doing okay. Um, there's a couple bare spots. I'm just not really worried about those right now. Um, but uh, you know, it's, there's some watercress growing, and then I'm not really sure what this little plant is right here. It looks pretty cool. Um, but anyways, it is looking good. So let's get these guys back in there. This is the larval form, it's pretty big, of the black chin red salamander. I'm gonna put him back in first. Uh, this guy is huge and refuses to uh, metamorphosis into an adult for whatever reason, he just keeps eating. Um, but he's, you know, nice little unit. He's in good, <laughs> he's big and just not really wanting to grow up, which is fine, I, I can relate to that. So, um, you know, I think that uh, parameters are good. You know, I'm not really worried about anything. Uh, like like I said, you can see the amount of water movement in there. It's keeping it nice and aerated and <clears throat> moving around. And I'm really thinking that uh, <clears throat> that the salamanders are going to, uh, you know, enjoy this. And, um, you know, it's just a better habitat than I had before. I liked it the way it was before, but I think this is just a little bit uh, better in terms of for their health and, uh, and for the health of the entire uh, Palladarium. So let's get the adults in too. Um, these are the two adults that I have. That, well, they're all the same age, but they're, they're the ones that uh, metamorphosed a while back. So I'm going to get, get them in now. Remember, always wear gloves when you handle these unless your hand is wet and you know there's no weird chemicals or anything. But don't these guys look amazing? Look at the coloration and how vibrant the colors are. Their eyes are this really cool yellow. Um, just amazing animals. I'm going to release this one up here on the moss. And... Um, He's gonna probably, it's gonna probably just beeline to, to go hide. It's probably a little stressed out, which is understandable since I've been moving him in and out of enclosures. <clears throat> but um, yeah, you know, I think that um, that there's, I also created some more hides, by the way. It's something that I didn't mention before. There's some more places for them to hide. So I'm sure we'll not be seeing them that often, um, at least on the land area, because there's just so much moss and wood. And here's the other one I put him in and he is just diving into the, sphagnum moss um, and I'll probably won't see him for a really long time either so um, you know like I said it's been a couple weeks moss seems to be doing well the animals are you know looking like they are going to take to this well uh, you know they're obviously just hiding in the moss and um, we'll you know see how it goes you know so uh, appreciate you guys tuning in again this is just again just a quick update video uh, but have some really cool, I have a new build I'm going to do, uh, a tall vertical uh, build, and I'm um, really looking forward to that. So stay tuned for some more content, and I appreciate you all tuning in and all the support for the channel, and I hope you all have a great weekend.